Hello everyone, and here with another Bionicle Classic review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on the uh, Tahunga slash Mictorn from 2001. And so a little thing to note is that these were originally called the Tahunga, but then suddenly some controversy went around which made them change it to Mictorn, of course. So um, let me show the polybags that they were given out in. And so on the front of in which one so is the set that comes within and also the Bonko logo each one has eight pieces and also the lego logo and the name of each one and the number of which one they are in the set and the mcdonald's logo which is what they were given out at back back then and on the back of which it says war and up and also scanner code and the and also Bonko.com website, and also a little bit of a, a miniature map of Matanui, and highlight to which one it is. And also with each one, you get a little insert that you can pull back, and oh, it shows a little snippet storyline of the of them, and also these pictures that show the storyline of it and also how to put the character together and which one it is and also little combiner models and also a lar extra large combiner model that there is and then on the back shows the Kahunga slash Matorn and the corresponding Toa and now with each one of these you get like a few Kanoka discs that match with each Toa. Like there's one of Tahus and also to note is that the lights kind of vary for each one. So at least in the discs they also used in a 2004 Metro Nui Saga of course. You can see has each character's or Toa's masks on them. So there's the How for Tahu. Miru of Liwa, and then Akaku for Kopaka, and Pakari of Liwa, and then Kao Kao of Gali, and then Kakama of Pohatus. And now on to the set. And this is going to be going in the number order of the bag sandwich. And this will be done kind of similarly to fast food toy reviews. Uh, and yeah. So first with number one is Hookie. Who of which was kind of changed later. It sees H-U-K-I until it later changed to H-E-W-K-I-I. -I. And then now he which is one of very few of these that's worn they did make a few other, or a second torn version of, and then as a Toa Anika Mari, or uh, anything, but yeah. So, as with each Tonga Matorin of this one, is mainly comprised of like seven pieces to it. And see, like the legs of that they did reuse with the Coley Matorins in 2003, and his mask of which is the, uh, uh, the Akakama mask of Pohatus, but in a light brownish orange color and same headpiece as the 2003 versions had, but in a darker gray color. So, in the separated, you see it's a single piece for the body and just simple, easy to assemble, which is good for the young one audience, obviously. And as the arms a bit asymmetric, but there's a reason for that is I see one arm of which does does work like that, but see it's kind of thick blocky and then but as for the other arm of which where you can like take a disc and slot it in the hand and then just pull it back and let it fly, just like the robots. So at least kept that from the robots. Well, slash slides over, obviously. And I think that is it with Hookie.
And up at number two is Onipu, who we've never seen any other versions of. Well, Kuki, we did see those a few other versions of. And, and as with Onipu here, it does interesting color scheme of black and purple, at least for the legs and for the mask, and who we of course never seen any other versions of, but although this mask we have seen on the Dewey Jaga set back then, obviously, and haven't seen ever since. And also worth to mention is you can fit a disc onto them, like it's what these little slots would can fit onto the back part of the heads and then it's held on their backs which clever props good props to lego for that at least they did think well back then and then let's see and number three is uh the one that's out to charm hooky maku which also brought out as a secondary also did get a Colima Torrent form in 2003, but unfortunately never had a Tulla or anything, form or anything. Even though there might be some fan fiction with that. But, yeah. but whereas with her mask, of which is the one of Taraka Kama, is this mask, obviously, but in blue. And what's kind of odd is that they all have the matching masks of, or the matching masks on each disc with each Tola, but whereas with hers, which not wearing the cow cow, which they saved for Holly, of course, but wonder why not they make Holly in this one, but whatever, and of course Holly did get an Anikamari forms. And well, and of course, whereas their masks, of which where the mouth parts can kind of fit in with each other, make it look like a kiss, which I see some people kind of do in fan art, fan art and all. You know, as for in the Machinima Online game where they try to charming each other and all, yeah, or holding hands and all. And well enough about that. And next up at number four is the captain of the guard, Jala. Well, Jala, which, as you see, spelled as J A L A, which later changed to J A L L E R, Jaller. Well, whatever reason that was for. And he also did get brought out a Colima Torn form in 2003, but came with the Jala and uh, uh, Guku Bird set, of course. So, and his color scheme of like light red and yellow. Which is interesting. And of course, his at the end of the Legends of Metro Nui, this mask was originally totally Khan's mask, but changed to fit him, obviously. And of course, good friend of Takua, and obviously. And then next up at number five, being Kongu, uh, which also did get to be a Nikamari form. But as for the color scheme, his color scheme of which light green and turquoise, like the Kanoe Miru in turquoise, which you can definitely use for mocks and stuff. And wonder why they, even though it's kind of odd why they never used this color scheme with the other versions, probably to stick with the dark metro red or dark metro green, obviously. And, yeah. and next up is a tribute character, Matoro. And he, which also did get a Koli Matoro form and a Naikamari forms as well. And of course, had to wear the Mask of Life to save this great spirit of Matanui sacrificing himself, obviously. Also, uh, hang on, stop. Also did get to a secondary version, which I didn't get to show with, uh, with the others, is 
his 2003 Colina Tour form. A little sneak peek for a throwback Thursday coming up. We're going to do all that. And same headpiece in light gray. And this form they also gave to Jala and Maku and Hupi. And also did introduce a uh, also introduce uh, Takua and uh, uh, Kopiki, Holly, and uh, Haku, of course. Although the Haku one was also in this kind of form, but sold in the power pack set. Uh, kind of rare now. And also missing from this is uh, Nuparu, but included in the box or set. Is now a little thing with that as, as a whole. If that, at least they have that obviously in the later years. So, as for the history of uh, of of Bonacle and McDonald's, kind of brief. Like, of course, the next the following year of two thousand two, they did have some sort of uh, upper deck card game, obviously, and then two thousand six through eight, seeing these kinds of ones. And but although these of which were a large success and people died to have them, but not very much popularity for these ones. And why? Actual pieces and these of which just glued all together cheap ripoffs, but not much of functionality and not much of much of anything. You know, of course. Well, if they would have done this for Generation Two Bonacle, would have been great, but. If Generation 3 ever does so, hopefully this should be as equally as great. Also do something like this as well. And so now, let me get some things out, and then call it the final verdict. Verdict on these. Well, overall, these of which finally very cool start to uh, the relationship of Bonacle and McDonald's, of course. Like, even though these were buildable characters rather than glued together figures like the later ones, but at least these are some of the memorable McDonald's toys that some will remember about. And well, I hope, in the course, to a lot of fans probably saw these as their first sets for like being in the McDonald's Happy Meals and everything. Yeah. And so, for those of you who still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you have good memories of them. And if those of you who missed out, well, Good luck getting them secondhand, like on eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And good luck getting them there. And that is about it with this review. And here I am, sign off. And see y'all next time. Bye.